Yeah, you're fat. You're so fat. You take up like the whole entire seat. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Joseph with Explosive Videos, and I just got through watching this video of this lady named Karen Huff, who was a bus aide over in New York, and she was uh, teased by some, some, I guess, middle schoolers. But there's some things that I just kind of want to address concerning this whole situation. You take where you're just not gonna, you know, you're not gonna be loved or liked. Me, for instance, I, I know this firsthand because I've been a behavioral health technician for the last three years of my life. And this is just one of those jobs, it's, it, it goes a lot further than saying it's a thankless job. It's, it's a job you gotta have some thick skin or just really not care to work there. Matter of fact, look at this. Hey, good morning, Johnny, how are you? Drop dead, you fat mom. That's the average day. That's the average morning and continue, you know, another seven and a half hours of that. That's what you go through being a behavioral health tech. So, I mean, there's just some jobs that aren't going to be glorified and you're not going to be loved by everybody. And, you know, being the bus aide, you're an authority figure on the bus. You're not going to be like, okay? But I kind of think that it kind of builds character in a way. Now, poor old Karen Huff, uh, she couldn't deal with it. She was crying and stuff like that. But I look back at my life, there are some times that I've been made fun of. And it hurt, but you know what? Sometimes those times that I got picked on were the times that I pushed through, you know, whether I was afraid of the people that were doing it, and sometimes I went upside the head, or, you know, sometimes I was just like, hey, man, what's the problem, man? Can we just like talk about this? And then, you know, ended up playing and being friends later or something like that, but I mean, <laughs> lack of action doesn't help. Okay, the boys had been bullying her. They started a while ago and they just continue to continue, but it never got to this degree. And they asked, well, have you ever reported it? Have you ever written it up? And oh, no, I haven't, you know, and then, you know, and she was like, what's going to happen? I could kind of see that. But also, I mean, if you do nothing, you're kind of, you know, again, being that target and allowing them. Why, why would they stop? You know, are they magically going to say, Ding, you know, let's be nice to the old lady? No. That's really not gonna happen. So, I mean, you gotta be proactive in situations like that. If anything, move up toward the bus driver. Maybe, if anything, the bus driver doesn't step in, maybe you can avert some of the <laughs> attention and they're making fun of the bus driver now. You know, I'm just being funny, but I mean, it, you, gotta, you gotta be proactive in situations like this. You know, talk, talk to your supervisor, talk to somebody, or if anything, just, hey, little boy, you better sit down. You know, get some <clears throat> inside you and, and do something about it. All right, so if there's anything to learn from this video, one, parents, be parents. Be actively involved in your kids' lives. Know what kind of things they're doing. Sitting here harassing a bus aide for 30 minutes, you know, and, and they were new. The stuff they were saying were new. Funny. I mean, I'm figuring at some point I'm gonna be like, "Oh, this is sad," and they'd be like, "You know, not even one, one time that I do that," you know. And it, I'm not trying to make fun of the lady, but yeah, I mean, sometimes stuff is just funny. Not, none of it was funny. Parents, be parents. Know what's going on. Be involved. And also, when your kids do make bad choices, like this dumb thing and other things that they'll do because they're kids, they're learning. Discipline, okay? Discipline is not a child's enemy. It's no one's enemy. You learn from that stuff, okay? When you don't discipline, you continue to do this stuff. You know, pretty soon they'll be punching on somebody and, and going further with it. So parents, take care of your kids. Kids, look at this. I mean, if you're going to pick on somebody, go find a bully, pick on the bully, okay? That, that's how you do it. Be a bully beater, okay? Go Do that or something like that. Don't, don't pick on people that are harmless and can't do nothing back to you. I mean, we really shouldn't pick on anybody altogether, but if you're going to pick on somebody, pick on somebody tough, all right? Or, or somebody that's bullying somebody else. So you knock out two birds with one stone. You get to bully somebody, and you get to, you know, save somebody else from being bullied. And number three, I mean, be wise with the jobs you pick. They say she makes $15,000 a year. And I'm sure she needs it, but that's not one of those jobs that's highly glorified, being a, a bus aide, being a behavior tech, being a cop, any type of authority figure, you're not going to be people's best friend. Bus driver was probably cool because she probably turned the radio station to the station they wanted to listen to all the time. So they're probably like, yeah, we love the bus driver. Yeah, I know how that goes too. So, I mean... Be mindful of these jobs you get. Some aren't going to be really glor 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 glorious jobs, you know? So that's another thing. And another thing we could, oh, oh, next, <laughs> most important thing about all this. Okay, that lady Karen Huff, she endured that torment. I mean, we only seen the videos from yesterday, but she's been enduring torment for a long time. They're making fun of her. Some people decided they wanted to open up a website to send this poor old lady who's only making $15,000 a year 
on a vacation. So they were looking to, to make to raise five thousand dollars for it through a website. Turns out, last I heard, it was upwards of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars that people have contributed to help this lady go on vacation. Now, sound like she's gonna be going on vacation for the rest of her life if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing about some experiences that I went through as a boy. And even now, even now, when I get made fun of, and hopefully somebody can make an account for me and I can get some money and I can go on vacation permanently for the rest of my life. But anyways, now, it, that just goes, goes to show society, people. Look at this. We got, on one hand, we got some rude, nasty little boys sitting here making fun of this old lady. And on the other hand, we got some kind-hearted people that are like, hey, let's give this lady some money. Let's give her a break. So, I mean, that just shows, that's people. That's how people are. Some are on one side of the spectrum, some are on the other. Some other people are out there hating because they're like, I've been bullied, I've had this, I have that, I have a scar on my face, kids made fun of me my whole life, nobody gave me money, whatever. Let this lady enjoy her money, people. Anyways, I'm out here at Joseph Explosive Videos. Be kind, rewind, no. So that's all I got to say. People, be nice. And if you're not going to be nice, record it, put it on YouTube, and then hopefully the person you're being me too can get some money like Karen Huff did, all right? Hey, I love you, son. Shut up, Batman. Why are you sweating? Why?